gone? Is he gone? Is my, is my commander gone? So, uh, so well, that's, that's bad, he's gone. Good day, watchers, welcome to another. Okay, let's do it more of a Halloween creepy. Good day, watchers, and welcome to a Halloween special. And today, I want to pick up some of the films that I've got that are you know, worth watching over Halloween. Perfect films, by the way. Um, the fun ones, the scary ones, and the suspenseful ones. And, of course, I've picked out 10 films, of course. I mean, these films I love, I've got, and I've watched, I've seen them already, but I thought to myself, well, I might as well do this video. I did it before, but, you know what, it didn't quite work out well. It didn't work, well. <laughs> it just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't like it, did like the video. Uh, so I'm going to start from scrap, scrap and do it again. So it's going to be the, top, the 10 films that are worth watching over Halloween. It's not really top 10, it's just like, all shuffle and stuff, but I will have number one though, so. So the first one I'm going to start off with um, is a film, it's, it's a George a Romero film, of course. It's a zombie one, of course, that's the, and it's the original, it's, it's the original 1960, what's it, you know, 68 or 68? Anyway, it's this 1960s zombie film. Um, I could have chosen the remake, but this one actually started all off. Um, this film actually, um, actually this film deals with racism and stuff. So this one's just right for Halloween because you know it's a zombie film and it's a fun movie to watch. It's really enjoyable. So I love this film, and you can watch it in color. There's, there's, there's actually a color version, but I can't remember if this one's got color or what. But I've got the one on DVD that's the color version. So yeah, it's a great movie by the way. I love this one, um, but I do like the remake too. It's a solid, the remake's solid. But I put this one there because it's the first one that they made. Um, before George Romero made him, I so yeah. So, Night of the Living Dead, worth watching over Halloween. Perfect film for Halloween, I'd say, so yeah. Right, the next film is a tell. It's, it's, a, it's a Halloween film, I know Halloween. It's part of Halloween, of course. Um, it's in that spirit of Halloween, of course. So, it's a film called Tales of Halloween. Um, I saw this a while back and loved it. It's got like 10 different st chilling stories, as it says. Chilling stories, and it's got some creepy storylines to it. Stories to it. Um, and it's very violent to so Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, if you know, if you if you ever see this on the shelf and you want to watch a bit creepy and scary over Halloween, this will be perfect over Halloween. So yeah, um, I watched it, man. I just went, I loved it, loved it. Um, but yeah, I think it's actually better than Trick or Treat. I think it's a lot better than that. So if you ever want to see it, I was I was actually quite blown away by this. So yeah, so like I said, it's perfect for Halloween and it's got and it's part of Halloween. So yeah. Uh, so it's called Tales of Halloween, check it, get, just go and buy it and treat yourself and watch it, so yeah. This is it's quite a scary one, that's so. it. And this one, this one, um, is a 1987 film, it's a fun movie, it's got The Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein's Monster and all that. Um, Creature from the Black Lagoon and stuff like that. Another character, and um, it's a film called The Monster Squad, and uh, this, this is a perfect Halloween movie. Um, it's a fun movie too. I like the kid when one of them says, Wolfman's got knocks! You know, so, so yeah, it's a, it's a funny mover and it's got great humour too. And it's quite sad too, the last bit was quite sad with it, you know. Um, but great humour and a great, great mover. Um, it's definitely a favourite of mine, of course. Um, actually, the Wolfman actually, the, you know, it's the, the Wolfman actually is quite scary, it looks quite menacing, isn't it? Um, well, the kids are great in it. It's, it's, I suppose in a way it's crossed between the Goonies and Universal Mon like a Universal Monster movie. So yeah, so it's called Monster Squad. If you've seen it, check it out. It's a fantastic movie. It's an old film now, but it's like a thirty-one year old film now. So yeah, the Monster Squad worth watching Halloween. Great film for Halloween. That so it's just stick it in, watch it on Halloween. It's fun. It's a fun movie. Right, the next film uh, I think is will be great over Halloween. It's a it's a John Carpenter film. Um, it's a it's a great film. It's a I love this film. It's great. They did a remake of um, Tom Winning, but I've really bad. Uh, it's a film called The Fog. Um, great, another film, great film for Halloween. Um, it's like a kind of like a ghost story, a ghost movie about pirates that kill people and stuff in the fog. If you go in the fog, you'll die. And um, it's a good movie. It's creepy. I remember when I first watched it, right? It's creepy the shit out of me. Especially when the knock on the door and that creepy knock and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's a good, fun. It's kind of a film that you can sit there and actually go, you know what? Let's tell a cre let's tell a creepy story about pirates and stuff. And then that's what it is. They tell a story about pirates and stuff, isn't it? About some kind of like 
thing that happened years ago and like, to start talking about it. And, um, it's a great movie though. Um, great freaking atmosphere and it's a good it's a good film, it's a good horror film. And it's a great film to watch over Halloween though, so yeah. Stick it in. VHS, D V D, Blu ray, whatever. Uh, see, it's good the fun, it's a great movie, it's a John Carpenter film. A legendary John Carpenter and he's, he's a wonderful director. He directed this really well. Right, the next film is another kind of like stories and stuff and um uh, it's, a film, it's a film called Trick or Treat and um this involves some wolves and stuff like that and there's but I can't remember when I watched, last watched it but it's a while I know it's got wolves and stuff like that and um it's got some quite cool story, stories to it. I really did enjoy this and um it's a fun movie to watch. Definitely perfect for Halloween I'll say. Um, especially that little sap boy kid in it who's quite a creeper. He's quite creepy and I was like Jesus Christ yeah. <laughs> so yeah if you want to watch you know it's a great number perfect film for Halloween. Um I love this film. It's a like I said, I've, I had to look for some films I, I you know I'm just going what there's so many films I've got all there that are worth watching over Halloween but I just picked some of them that would be perfect for Halloween so yeah. It's called Trick or Treat, yeah. It's quite a rare one to get that one actually on Blu-ray, yeah. Well this of course this is of course I have to get the old box set here, but it's just, it's the first nightmare in all street. Um actually I think all, all the films would be great over Halloween but I have to pick the first one of course, so yeah. Um about Freddy Krueger and stuff like that and um I suppose the dream killer and stuff, the psycho dream killer and um played by Rob brilliantly played by Robert England of course. Directed by Wes Craven, the late great Wes Craven died three years ago now. Um but yeah, great freaking mover. Introduces Freddy Krueger, he kills teens in the dreams and and um smells like team spirit I suppose. Um but yeah I love this film to bits and it's perfect for Halloween I'll say. Um stick the VHS tape in if if you got a VHS tape of course you're stuck in the past of course you're stuck in the present day, stick your Blu-ray in or four K I'm not sure if you can get this on four K actually, I don't know. So yeah, I hope they hope hopefully they bring it on four K next, so yeah. The Elm Street collection that'll be great. So yeah. The first Elm Street film, love it, it's a classic, so yeah, love that. And the next film is another um, da -da -da -da. John Carpenter film. It's a great. I love this film. It stars uh, Donald Pleasance and stuff. It's a film called Prince of Darkness. Another great film watch to watch over Halloween. Um, I love this film to bits. It's a great mover. Um, it's got this gooey green, this gooey stuff that's in this, and and it's and it's a good mover. And it's it's like it's and it's just a great mover. Um, but yeah, John Carpenter, you know, he's, he does a, fa a fantastic job with this film. Um, but yeah, you got like Donald Pleasance, of course, again, he's fantastic. And so it's got a film called The Prince of Darkness, kind of like a supernatural, it's kind of got kind of like zombies in it, stuff like, kind of like zombies, but they're not. Um, but yeah, I love this film. I remember watching it for that, was such a good creepy movie. Stuck in a church and stuff like that, so yeah. Go Prince of Darkness, check it out if you want to see it, it's fantastic. Great film for Halloween. And the next film is like it's kinda of like the same kind of like wavelengths of Hall uh, Halloween films, like it's a classic jo uh, West Craven film. It was nineteen ninety six they made this and it's kinda of like reinvented slasher movies and stuff. There's a film called Scream. Um this one stars Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox. I love Neve Ca Neve Campbell by the way, Neve Campbell, she's great. Uh Drew Barrymore, it doesn't really last long in this film but She's great, she has like a memorable death scene in it of course. Um film's got a good sense of humour but you know, it, like I said it reinvented horror films and it's perfect to watch over Halloween this one because it's a, uh, it's kinda like Halloween. Of course you don't know who the killer was in this, like it's anyone anyone in the film that like, you think, oh, are they the killer? And of course there's a nice little twist out there of course. Um but yeah, I love this film, it's a good movie. Hopefully they're making a fifth one. I can't see them but of course I love I actually enjoyed the T V show. It's not perfect but I enjoy it. And of course now they reboot the T V show again to say it's free, which is odd. Um but yeah. It's called Scream, it's a it's a West Craven classic and I, I love these films. I love all I like all four films, so yeah. Um so yeah, great for Halloween that. Um right the next film now uh, this book is a highlight because I love the I enjoyed the film last year. It's, um I thought it was interesting so and people seem to like the original one more than this and it baffles that I have no idea why. Um, it's a film called It, and uh, this is the remake. And uh, the well, actually, it's not really a remake. It's more from the, it's more of a better version from the book. Um, because you can't really remake a book, can you? Really? I mean, people think it's a remake, but it's not really because it doesn't actually copy of the film. The company does it. It does something different, you know. Um, 
But yeah, I enjoyed this film, really enjoyed it. This is a perfect film for Halloween. Uh, creepy clowns, kids that freaking are getting uh, stopped by a creepy clown, of course. Um, but uh, I, and the guy who plays the Pennywise does a great job, by the way. He, he's silly creepy about the way he does it, and the way the way he talks and moves and stuff like that. Uh, he does a fantastic job, and uh, he looks like he's having a lot of fun playing the uh, Pennywise. Um, and I think he's way better than. I think it's, it is a much more kind of like sinister version of Pennywise, also. So yeah, especially that beginning at the park where he's talking to that kid and he starts. Oh, I don't know, something creepy about it. So, oh boy. Um, but yeah, I loved this film. Watched it last year. It's, like I said, it's a great film to watch over Halloween. Um, I loved. I like, I like to watch this one again. One of these days. So yeah, awesome. Look forward to the second one next year. Yeah, so I'm coming out soon, and I'll be seeing the trailer soon. So, um, Pennywise, the it. It's coming for you, Pennywise. Right, the last film I think I'll pick from this ch my choices of Halloween movies is it has to be appropriate. Of course, this is the this is a uh, this is a typical freaking choice. Of course, I mean this is like I suppose a predictable choice because it's a Halloween movie. It's got Halloween in the title and it's called Halloween. Um, of course, the new ones out. Of course, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, this is introduces Michael Myers. This is the original one, um, 1978 movie. Director of John Carpenter, and I like say it's a great mover, great suspense in it, and um, great music to it, and a great, you know, it's a great score, and great, ap a great freaking atmosphere and stuff like that, and scares and suspenseful, very suspenseful film. Um, good solid performances in the mover, um, and John Carpenter is a freaking is a genius when it comes to uh, mover making when it comes to these films. Um, but yeah, I love the film, so yeah. So yeah, also I'm gonna say about this, uh, you know, because you know, you know the story right? about a um, crazy killer called Michael Myers. Who... But yeah, I love this film to bits. It's got great suspense and great performances in it, and um, Jamie Lee Curtis, fantastic. So yeah, the reason that's the reason why I chose that last because that had to be the last one because it's that was appropriate to have that in the uh, top um, or t films worth watching over Halloween. So yeah, so here we go. Here's my Halloween movies which it worth watching over Halloween. So anyway, people, there's my Halloween movies worth watching over Halloween. As you can see, I mean that's just my choices. I mean, there's more choices I could have chose, and um, but I thought ten films, ten films. I might do another one next year, another ten films worth watching over Halloween, different ones. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I chose these because you know, awesome. Um, so anyway, people, there's my Halloween movies, and um, if you have a yeah, if you have a alone at night and you're watching a creepy film, and I don't know, it's just a creepy film. Like, let's say you're watching Halloween and stuff, and or um, Invasion of the Body Snatchers and stuff. And um, if you're alone and you want someone to talk to and you're scared, just remember to lock the doors, go upstairs, and hide in your bed. Here, all of a sudden. So, anyway, people, remember to subscribe to my channel and, um, and have a nice Halloween. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Okay, people, have a nice Halloween, and um, and um, don't be too afraid of the dark and stuff. And when you're watching a horror film, time just you know just just don't think about stuff. Just watch a horror film, enjoy it, and that's it. So anyway, people, have a nice day, have a nice evening, and um, have a nice day, have a nice Halloween. See ya.